Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bubble Sorcery. Bubble Sorcery is another niche spell group that doesn't really get a lot of love, which is a shame because it does do really good damage. Bubble Sorcery requires intelligence and arcane, however the only arcane scaling staff is the Elven Uric staff and it really isn't that good. You're not going to want to invest into arcane outside of the minimum requirements. You would be best suited using something like the Carrion Regal staff or Lusat's Glenstone Staff if you don't mind the added FP consumption. The bubble sorceries are very slow and there's only two of them because why would you have diversity? The two bubble sorceries are the Oracle Bubbles and the Great Oracle Bubble and one is an AoE and the other one is a Comet replacement except for it, it has a super slow startup and the projectile speed is super slow as well. It's not great unless you're max cast speed and even then it's still really slow. The good news is it lingers so bosses and enemies that will rush you can run right into them and you can get multiple off and they'll just kind of linger at the end of their travel distance when as comet it would just fade out of existence so niche cases and for the aoe it has super low range which to be fair it's an aoe it doesn't need great range it exists kind of like the equivalent of dark feed in dark souls 1 where if you land it, it does very good damage, but it's again slow, and again, the most effective way to use it is going to be right up in the boss's face, and since it is so slow, you can get staggered out of it pretty easily, which is why poise isn't always important. So you do want poise. With most mages, you can get away with not having it, such as Night Comet or Regular Comet or Comet Azure, because you can just kill bosses from distance without ever having to get up close and personal. Bubble Sorcery does not have that luxury, so you do want 51 poise. And so for my build, we're going to have 60 Vigor, because that's the Vigor soft cap. We're going to have 39 Mind, because that Mind is a dump stat. We're going to have 13 Endurance, because that's just what we need to not fat roll. We're going to have 80 Intelligence, because that's the Intelligence Breakpoint. Then we're going to have 18 Arcane, because that is the Arcane requirement for the Bubble Sorcery. For weapons, we aren't going to have any. We are going to be using... Azure and Lusat's Glintstone Staff. So the FP consumption is going to be atrocious. However, we are going to have max cast speed and max sorcery scaling for our level. For the armor, we have Silver Tear Mask to boost our arcane by 8. So that way we don't have to invest many points into arcane. We're going to have the Fingerprint Armor Altered, Gold Bracelets, and Crucible Greaves. That's going to give us 51 poise because we will be up in boss's faces. For Talismans, we have the Graven Mass Talisman, the Graven School Talisman, Radagon Icon, and Godfrey Icon. Radagon Icon is going to, again, increase our casting speed. Godfrey Icon is going to increase our charged spell damage. And the Graven Mass and Graven School Talisman are just general spell boosts. For the Great Rune, we have Radon's Great Rune, because that is the only Great Rune you need in PvE. For the Crystal Tier, we have Magic Shrouding Crack Tier to really increase our damage. And then we have Applying Hard Tier for increased damage negation because enemies hit hard. So, for the spells, obviously we have the Oracle Bubble and Great Oracular Bubble. And then we have Terra Magica. No other spell is going to be needed here, and Terra Magica is just too useful to leave out. 